Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the so-called Silicon Valley at Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Today, boy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here as it'll be the Chicago Bears taking on the San Francisco 49ers. Hi again, everyone. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, you take a look at these 49ers as they interplay here. Now, losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Bears, they can't be any better as we hit the halfway mark. A perfect 7-0 on the year. And when we looked at this team in August and we looked at the schedule, we thought they had the potential to get off to a hot start, but I don't think either of us expected 7-0. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. And they'll be let out by their quarterback now in his third season in the league. And no excitement, unless, he, unless you're on the defensive team of last week, in his numbers. Because the only excitement he really generated was the one interception he threw. Yeah, no touchdown passes. Yeah, and his team wasn't real thrilled about that. And they lost the game. So I know this week has been tough on him because he's been working hard fundamentals footwork finding the right targets and bottom line how did it get a win line of scrimmage the 37 on first and 10 back to the ground on first it's McCaffrey and he'll work this forward for about three at second down the numbers for McCaffrey last week 15 carries 72 yards when a winning streak stretches this far you start to wonder if a team is truly unstoppable. And here's a guy who's been very much the legs that have helped drive this team to wins week after week. And even when teams are keyed on him and trying to slow him down, he's still got the job done enough to avoid a loss. Talking with him in pregame, though, he thinks that this week could be his biggest week yet. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 48-yard line. McCaffrey running up the middle. Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. Touchdown, 49ers! Christian McCaffrey with his fourth rushing touchdown of the year. And the 49ers are on the board first here this afternoon. And that CD, one heck of a run. He just refused to go down. And that's where determination comes in because he had at least a couple of guys had really good shots at him, but he just said, I don't think so. Speed, power, elusiveness, all on display right and oh it's blocked that's a live ball scooped up by the offense so it goes as a fumble but the key thing not a fumble loss yeah that that stat's big isn't it i mean it, i remember watching teams play the ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game but the other team doesn't get it that's a huge difference in the ball game and in this case they were able to retain possession and it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by a first-round pick back in 2021 from Ohio State. It's Justin Fields. He threw for nearly 350 yards. His team won. And one word just kept coming to mind as I watched him during the game. Surgical. Absolutely surgical. That's why he won NFC Offensive Player of the Week. Yeah, very precise. The throws, maybe as accurate as he's been in some time. Yeah, I think he feels pretty locked in here. And I think he feels like he can get it done again in this one, too. And he'll have it past midfield, almost to the 40, before being taken down. Heck of a start. A 30-yard pickup on their first play from scrimmage. A play fake. Now fields to throw. And this one almost intercepted. Not a good throw there. Nearly an opening drive, INT. Now a second and ten. Here's Fields. Caught by Montgomery. Nine yards, not quite enough. And they'll be left now with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. And we're going to stop play here at least momentarily. It looks like there is a 49er who's in some discomfort. 
While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. Back to throw, Fields. He'll leave it for Montgomery complete. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. So, Charles, you know, offensively, this group really playing at a high level, 7-0. and and we're still a long ways from discussing a potential unbeaten season, I think. But to use a golf expression, no blemishes on the card, at least to this point. Yeah, unlike my teenage years where there were blemishes everywhere, the dermatologist was on speed dial. But I do think that they're going to have to start answering questions about this start if they keep winning games. You and I both know, we in the media, will start to obsess about it and wonder, can they take it all the way to an undefeated season? Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Again to Montgomery, out of the gun. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. This defense against the run, by the way, they're not top five, but they are top ten. So what's your philosophy here? Do you try and run the ball against a team that's pretty good against the run? What if you're a pretty good running team? If so, you might want to go ahead and run it anyway because that's your strength. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Field's going to hold on to it. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Bears. Justin Fields keeping it himself from a yard out. And the Bears are an extra point away from taking the lead. Defensively, they told us that the top priority was defending option plays this week, but here on the very first drive, the defense broke down a bit. It certainly did, and it's really not a surprise because defending option football is difficult. You have to think too much. Most of the time, you just react to what you see and you play fast. Here, you're reacting, you're processing. Do I have the back? Do I have the quarterback? Who do I take? Do I take on a blocker? And next thing you know, he's in the end zone. Now, after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. And, Charles, you look at these two teams. These are those kind of litmus test games in the second half of the season that if you're a coach or a player, you can either really look forward to them or really dread them depending on your point of view. And if you're dreading them, you're not going to go very far in the playoffs. You need to look forward to these kind of games because here we've got two division leaders, both real contenders for the NFC title. And you're right. You love having easy games on your schedule, but you need some games like this to toughen you up a bit and ensure that you're ready for the shock of playoff football. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a second and four coming up. Here's Purdy. Got a man, that's IU. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. From the shotgun to McCaffrey, and he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Now an option play on second down. No bottled up fumble. It's out. It's loose. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. So that play, I mean, it was pretty well blown up from the start, and it results in a turnover. Yeah, when you're running the option like that as a quarterback, you have so many different keys and reads to make. And sometimes as you're making them, you're not protecting the ball the way you should, and it gets popped free. Heck of a start, a 30-yard pickup on their first play from scrimmage. What we saw there, that's what we know that he can do. He can break tackles and turn them into big runs, and that's what he did. And what is the buzz phrase nowadays in football for a guy like that? Contact balance. The ability to go through trash. 
come out the other side, avoid and run through contact, and keep your balance. Second down, ball on the three. First down marker at the one-yard line. To throw his fields. And that is caught. Touchdown, Bears. Deontay Johnson with touchdown number eight on the year as his guys are able to extend their lead. Week after week, Charles, when we see this offense operate, I don't know, they just seem to get more impressive. They certainly do, and let's face it, it's no surprise they're the best in the NFL in scoring. This team designs things well and executes even better. And here, it only takes a few snaps before they're in the end zone. That's how they demoralize teams. That's how they put them on notice. So two successful two-point tries now for them. And you know what it does? It gives you a boost, a huge one for your team because, hey, you're dominating them now. They can't stop you either scoring touchdowns or two-point conversions. But how about the defense? You don't know what to do at this stage. You can't stop them in any direction. Now after the touchdown, here, Santos to kick this one away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The 49ers offense now, they get set to head back on the field. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points too, Charles. But they've got it. There he goes, left side. Inside the 20, Christian McCaffrey. Touchdown, 49ers. Christian McCaffrey. Second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Niners are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Now we didn't even get a chance to settle in for that drive. A quick strike of 75 yards and they find the end zone. Don't you get the sense that film study was behind this one, that they saw something that they thought they could take it? And now it's blocked. Picked up by the offense. This is a live ball. So they escape, so to speak, maintaining the football. Defensively, though, opportunity miss. It definitely was because that's all defenses talk about, getting the football and either advancing it the other way or just getting possession and turning it over to their offense. That can be a little bit deflating. You're exactly right, a lost opportunity. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. David Montgomery ready to take the field for the Bears' next possession. The passing game, they've had more success there than the running game. Maybe something they game plan for. How come they didn't tell us about it? Because they wanted to keep it a secret. <laughs> we did ask, didn't we? But I think what happened in this one is they've realized that they've established the run pretty well, and teams are going to key on that. They thought they could open it up and have success through the air, and that's exactly what's going on. Yeah, they've had success at least so far here in the second quarter. Johnson jostles free, and he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. It's another first down as they bite off 23 more on that one. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing, but as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Another nice gain, 16 yards there at a first down again. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Here we go. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Fields. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. And out all the way down at the three. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Montgomery is into the end zone for a Bears touchdown. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great word, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game and no signs of slowing down. Cairo Santos on to try the extra point. And that one pushes the lead up to 11. That time, 75-yard drive, five plays. And it was David Montgomery's touchdown run that polished it all off. 
And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. Christian McCaffrey and his 49er teammates back onto the field. So far, been so good this season. Well on his way, as you see, to a 1,000-yard campaign. Is he almost having the type of year to where you say, let's let him get his and we'll control everything else? That's one way to go about it. There he goes, right side. He may go. George Kittle. Touchdown, Fighters. George Kittle, 75 yards. And the 49ers are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. I don't think you can get any more efficient or tidy, whatever word you want to use in that. And one play, 75 yards, in zone. Yeah, efficient, tidy, excellent words. How about explosive? 75 yards, one play. That means everyone handled their assignment, doesn't it? It doesn't just mean that the defense broke down. They really executed the way that was drawn up on the whiteboard. Big time play, big time result. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. You see David Montgomery heading back out to begin the drive. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys <laughs> have an innate sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. On first down, Fields. And the Niners get there and bring him down. Javon Hargrave, the D-tackle, getting the sack. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Here's Fields now on second down. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. Fighting through, and he's got space. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Bears. David Montgomery. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Bears will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Boy, Charles, this offense is just so explosive. They lead the league in scoring. And another example of just how good they are right there on that play. Yeah, we often overstate about how explosive teams are, but this team is truly a threat to score on every snap, especially on the first few plays of any series. And a big strike like that, that only adds to their reputation as the league's best offense. Matt Eberflew is going to keep his offense on the field. They're going for two. Trying to run it in with Montgomery. And he will dive into the end zone, and the two-point conversion is successful. They get the conversion, and Charles, when you only have two yards to go, what do you think of the toss play? Because initially it kind of sets you back a little bit. It does, especially if you get a lot of pressure coming towards you. But if you can get to the edge, if you seal the edge with your blocking, often your tackle or your tight end on what they call the play side where the ball goes you can get to the corner and that allows those big guys to get out ahead of the runner out comes Christian McCaffrey with the rest of the offense and Charles you can't really fault him he's over 100 yards already he's not the reason they're losing and that is really unusual because ordinarily when you've set the tone this way and have run it this effectively usually your team's in control so it's a very strange situation and you're right, you can't fall him. He's done a great job for his team thus far. I'm guessing he's saying, feed me on the sidelines. Now will they continue to do it? On second down, McCaffrey. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot down. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. Now on first down, it's Purdy. This one caught by Kittle. Down the numbers. There he goes. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That'll go as a pick up of 32 on the catch and run. Now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. So Purdy off and Moody on for the 49er field goal. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. Jake Moody now on for the field goal. From the right hash, this from 48. And this one is right down Broadway. And that lead is back down to nine now. So the three points here, they're still down. 
but they put somewhat of a dent into that lead going into the break. Anything helps when you're trying to chip away at a lead, but they do know that they're going to need a little bit better effort in the second half. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And he's finally out of bounds, but he gets it to the 25. What a return. But when the highlight is shown of this play, all attention is going to be on the person running with the football. But how about the group as a whole setting up that big-time return? Yardage that we won't even account for in the box score may help them win the game. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch up to resume. Here we go with the second half. The Bears holding the lead and ready to receive the kick. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. So here are the Bears to take over on offense. They've got the lead right now, and remember, they are riding that very impressive seven-game winning streak, trying to push it to eight. Fields and the Bears now with a first and ten at their own 23. A good start to the drive here as that's caught out on the left side. Now he's loose down the left sideline. Touchdown! Deontay Johnson with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bears come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Matt Eberflew is going to keep his offense on the field. They're going for two. Try to run it in with Montgomery. And he is not going to get to the goal line. And for the first time here this afternoon, they are thwarted on the two-point conversion. Now after the touchdown here, Santos to kick this one away. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Here's a look at the 49ers offense as they make their way out for their first possession of the second half. Well, the opposition laid down the challenge and opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. And Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Yeah, you're right about that. What was a small magical spread to overcome? A little bit more daunting now. I think you're exactly right. Pressure is on because you don't want them getting the ball back with a chance to really extend this lead out. Not first down, Purdy. Airing it out deep for Smith. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for him. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. Pretty slow, complete here to Ayuk. Still going. Touchdown for the Niners. Closer. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts. <laughs> All right, because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Moody good with the extra point. And this is back to an eight-point game. So a 75-yard scoring drive on just three plays. And it was Brandon Ayu capping it off with the touchdown reception. And this taken in at the goal line. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. And he'll go right back to Andrews. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Now Fields. 
Throw left side complete. That's Montgomery. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. The Bears on the move. They've got another first down. First down, Bears. Now it's Fields. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit. A lot of people making plays behind him in the field. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. 90 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. And they're knocking on the door now. As a good run there, are going to take this to about the 10-yard line. They'll fake the handoff. Now Fields. This one swung out to Montgomery. So no gain on the play, and it's second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He can... And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. David Montgomery, a 10-yard touchdown run. And the Bears have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Bears often stay in put. Justin Fields always a threat to run. They'll go for two here. Escaping the pressure right. And he is into the end zone for two more as the lead moves up to 16. And with a successful two-point try, the QB rolling out, I would imagine, on the defense, that makes it tough. When he goes out, he's got the option to run or pass. Yeah, it really does. If you decide not to bring extra people or extra pressure, maybe you have to have a spy on the quarterback, someone to account for him, because oftentimes, that is the unaccounted poor player. Now, Brandon Ayuk ready to bring out the rest of this offense here for this upcoming series. Pretty good game for him so far. I guess he's still got time here to make this a great game, but so far, he's been solid. I like where you're going with that because it has been pretty good, but there's always that hint that things can really escalate for him. And right now, they, they feel like they're somewhat keeping him in check, but he has found the end zone once. But, boy, he can explode at any moment. Yeah, when you hit that end zone once, you want to find it again, don't you? <laughs> yes, you do. You get, you, hungrier. you get greedy in a good way. And, oh, he sheds a tackle. Now he's got some space. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. That one good for 33 and a first. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. That ball caught, Brandon Ayuk. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. Out of the gun, Purdy. Touchdown! Christian McCaffrey. This deficit here in the final minute of the third. McCaffrey, he'll try to run it in. And he will dive into the end zone, and the two-point conversion is successful. And that almost makes it a brand-new ballgame. Now it's a one-score affair after they get the two. And you have to know they were holding their breath on the two-point play because they had to have it to get it within the range that you just talked about. Dialed up their two-point play. It worked. Now they're feeling like they've got a shot at this one. David Montgomery ready to take the field for the Bears' next possession. He's had a touchdown for every quarter so far. Three here in the third and probably hoping he's not done yet. And this is a situation where it's okay to be greedy. When you've already scored three times, you want for it. You want more than that. And guess what? That only helps your team. Yeah, so far three now in search of four. Fields now to throw. And he's going to have the hook up here with Harry. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here in Santa Clara. It's Bears football here. They also have the lead as well as we begin quarter number four. 
On third down, they go Montgomery. Fighting through. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point in the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. One play action, Fields. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown, Bears. LaVisca Chanel, 54 yards. And the Bears add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. Now the Bears keeping the offense on the field and going for two. And he is into the end zone for two more as the lead moves up to 16. Now after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. There are the 49ers getting set to trot out there. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Purdy looking to throw. He'll get this into the hands of Ayu. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. Four yards on the pickup. Once more, Purdy looking to throw. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. Throwing here, Purdy. And his throw is incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. And yeah, Purdy's throw going to be taken in by Ayuk. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. And they're going to speed things up here. Purdy on third down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 33. Back to throw, Purdy. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. Now second and four. Purdy will look to throw again here. He throws it on the move, but can't connect as that ball is incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Shotgun now with Purdy. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And they will get him down, but not before he gets very good yardage there, as that will lead us right into the two-minute warning. Purdy. Touchdown, 49ers! Debo Samuel from six yards away. And the 49ers are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. 
I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Doesn't you got, feel right. Exactly. Some strong running at the 20. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Chicago offense set to get started. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see him take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They'll go to Montgomery to try to wind some clock. And he is going to have the Bears first. And that should be the capper. And hold on here because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. They're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, first down, He's the guy they've turned to, and it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. This drive is pretty clear. It almost feels like old-school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to pose their will on the defense. Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive, and like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. And Montgomery going to pick up a Bears first down as he gets this down to the 13-yard line. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. A great move in there, but it only takes him to the 7. He's dropped there. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Now Fields. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Something we haven't really seen much of from him in incomplete packs. Yeah, last week he finished at 70%. This week he's up over 80%. I don't know how you slow him down. And he's across for the late touchdown. And in the final seconds, that one should just about put a capper on this game. We see this a lot on third and short yardage, especially down here in the red zone. They're going to sell out to stop the run, try and hold them to a field goal. But once the running back gets past the first wave, the resistance can evaporate after that. And he not only picks up the first, but he takes it all the way into the end zone. Santos now to add the PAT. And the lead is up to 15 now. That time, a nine-play drive. And it was David Montgomery's touchdown run that polished it all off. Now, after the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Purdy with one final shot here. He's got the hookup downfield to Samuel. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Well, this was a fun one today if you like points. A lot of them went on the board. Both offenses were clicking. Charles, these defenses, meanwhile, have a little something to clean up before their next contest. Yeah, neither end zone had a stop sign in it, did they? I mean, for both sides, visit it. And with frequency. Not fun to be a defensive player, but on the offensive side of the ball, those guys had a blast. 